show everyone we'll be reading we all went on safari this book is by laurie krebs and julia kurtz we all went on safari when the day had just begun we spied on lonely leopard arusha counted one Modja. We all went on safari, over grasslands damp with dew. We came across some ostriches, and Mossy counted two. Billy. We all went on safari, past an old acacia tree. Nearby giraffes were grazing, so Tumpe counted three. Tattoo. We all went on safari to the ancient crater floor. We heard some lordly lions. One bay counted four. Nay. We all went on safari where the lake birds swim and dive. Up bobbed some hefty hippos. A kayla counted five. Tano. We all went on safari among herds that intermix. We followed woolly wildebeest, Watende counted six, Sita. We all went on safari with the sun high in the heaven. We spotted zigzag zebras, Zalira counted seven, Saba. We all went on safari near the Serengeti gate. We startled wiry warthogs, so Huber counted eight. Nanny. We all went on safari where the treetops intertwine. We met mischievous monkeys, so Dotty counted nine. Tisa. We all went on safari through a rocky hillside glen. We watched enormous elephants, and Bodru counted ten. Kumi. We all went on safari in the sunset's fading light. We built ourselves a campfire and bid our friends good night. Let's look at the animals of Tanzania. Leopard, chewy. Leopards often carry their prey to a high tree branch where they can eat and sleep safely. Only their long, spotted tails give away their secret hiding place. Lion, Simba. The female lion hunts for the pride, which often has up to 13 family members. Ostrich, Mbuni. Ostriches are taller than most professional basketball players, about seven to eight feet or 2 to 2.5 meters and they are very fast runners. Hippopotamus, Kiboko. Hippos sink down in the water during the day, folding their ears and closing their nostrils to protect their skin from drying out in the sun. Giraffe, Twiga. Giraffes have spongy upper lips and tongues that are 18 inches or 45 centimeters long. These allow them to eat around the spiky thorns of the acacia tree. Common wildebeest, Inyumbu. A wildebeest looks like a combination of different animals. It has the head of an ox, the mane of a horse, the horns of a buffalo and the beard of a goat. Plain zebra, Punda Mila. Like humans have fingerprints, each zebra has its own special black and white pattern that helps to camouflage it at dawn and at dusk when lions are hunting. Warthog, Ngiri. Warthog family trot rapidly in single file, mother first and piglet behind each with its tail straight up in the air. Vervet monkey, Tumbili, 
velvet monkey babies hitchhike rides on their mother's chest by holding onto her fur and curling their tails around her back. Elephant Tembo A mother elephant cares for her baby with surprising tenderness, keeping it hidden beneath her legs or tucked inside the group when the herd is on the move. The Maasai people. The Maasai people of East Africa live where northern Tanzania meets southern Kenya. Several families cluster together in small villages. They build their huts of mud, sticks, grass and cow dung. Together they care for a large herd of cattle, the tribe's most important activity. When grazing is good and the pastures rich, the people stay in the settlement. When the land dries out and the seasons change, the group moves on to find fresh water and new pastures for the cattle. The Maasai are a proud people. Standing tall and handsome in their cloaks of rich red fabric, men and women adorn themselves with beautiful beaded earrings and necklaces. Some men have fancy hairstyles and wear elaborate headdresses. The women usually shave their heads and wear wide, white, circular collars that bounce rhythmically as they move. For thousands of years, the Maasai have lived amidst the wildlife of East Africa. But in today's rapidly changing world, they are struggling to preserve their way of life as one of the last pastoral cultures on earth. Swahili names when Tanzanian parents choose a name for their child, they often pick a name that has special meaning. They hope their baby will grow up to have the same qualities as the name suggests. Now let's look at some of these names. Arusha, independent, creative, ambitious. Mosi, patient, responsible, loves his family and home. Tumpe, friendly, funny, a leader. Uwambe, neat, peaceful, a good businessman. Akela, loves nature and the outdoors. Watende, sensitive, generous, creative. Zalira, understanding, peaceful, friendly. Sohuba, clever. Talented, affectionate, dotu, generous, affectionate, helpful, bodru, hardworking, takes time to finish what he starts. Here are some facts about Tanzania. Tanzania is the largest country in East Africa. It is almost as big as France. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa. It is 19,340 feet or 5,895 meters high. Lake Victoria in the north is the second largest lake in the world. Before 1961, the country was called Tanganyika. One of the big lakes still bears that name, Lake Tanganyika. Now, Tanzania is made up of Tanganyika and the island of Zanzibar. More than 100 tribes live in Tanzania. The name Serengeti means endless plain. Ngorongoro crater is a collapsed volcano. Once it stood taller than Mount Kilimanjaro. Now it is shaped like a deep bowl. Old Dubai gorge is sometimes called the cradle of mankind. The bones of ancient man was found there. A map of Tanzania and some of the different places we've mentioned. Mount Kilimanjaro, the Serengeti National Park, Old Dubai Gorge, and the Great Rift Valley.
Now let's count in Swahili. Moja, Mbeli, Tatu, Ne, Tano, Sita, Saba, Nane, Tisa, Kumi.